Hello? Stream? Why'd you cut out? Are you good? Can you guys can you guys see me? Hello? Um Okay. Okay, that was weird. It it literally just went out for like a half a second. I don't understand what that was. Um anyway, um yeah, I saw the Azorius list. I think the mo the thing you get most out of that list is the blue blasts, I think. I think the creatures are all kind of whatever. Meddling Mage is not that good. Lavinia is not that good. They're both okay in certain situations, but they're not a reason. They're not a reason to splash, if you ask me. None of this is good. I really need this Stone Forge to live, though, so I, I have to try to get get the mom to. I, I I need the mom to get their removal out first. Simeon Spirit Guide. Okay, at least they didn't get anything good. Swords me. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now we are getting somewhere. Um, one unknown, yeah, so I basically just need it to not be a white card. And I don't really care what else it could be. I mean, I would always take a sub. I'm not gonna not gonna turn one down. I appreciate anybody's support of my channel. There's that mountain. Yeah, certainly feel free to try out the blue splash. I, I'm probably going to try it on stream at some point, but I'm, like, not not about to, like, say that everybody should go and play it right now. I, I, I don't necessarily believe that about it, but... Hello? Uh, thank you for the substatic. I don't know why an alert didn't pop up, but thank you. How's it going? Um, I would believe that, too. There we go. There's the Bezos Bucks. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you both for your support. Okay. This is looking real rocky for a bit there, but I think we are going to be okay now. Let's get that out of here. Uh, Jax, stop. No. Jax is being so disruptive for it only being the 39th minute we've been live. Yeah, Skyclave was pretty much perfect. Uh, any any removal would have been nice, but Skyclave, I think, was the best. Yeah. 
Would you stop top decking? The I hate initiative so much. I'm glad that like I learned the matchup and feel a lot better about it, but like, man, it's not fun to play this matchup at all. Um, I have to keep this vial on three so that recruit. Recruiter is a good top deck because if I don't draw anything I'm casting here anyway Then I kind of have to put Yorin in my hand and then I'll cast it next turn anyway um, hmm. A little bit of a punish for not ticking up. <sighs> Hopefully they just don't have another white card for the Solitude, I guess? But I guess if they have to use it on the Containment Priest, then they aren't using it on the Cauldra Germ, so... Trade-offs, I suppose. Um... I guess one possibility here is if I take the initiative, I could forge onto one of my creatures, and then I can potentially double block so that they don't get the initiative back, but that seems really risky, because I don't want to go down that left path, and I know that they have a removal spell in their hand, so I don't know. That doesn't seem very good to me. I think I just want this back as the blocker. Okay, few. So they pick an Archon of Emeria and it gets exiled. Okay, cool. Lotus Petal lets them cast the Solitude. Alright, what do they hit here? Another... another initiative creature? Okay. feels really unfair right now. <laughs> Could potentially double block here. I take a total of 
full one damage, but I at least get rid of this stupid thing. They're going to cast another, but there's nothing I can really do about that right now. And I think I just need to get get rid of... Yeah, I, I, I think this 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 means that I can potentially keep up with them if I like draw a removal spell next turn. Oh, they forgot to cast their Chaos of Chaos Adventure off of that. That's actually... Yeah, but it's free. It, it, they, they cast it for free because they finished the dungeon. Except then they just didn't, so... <laughs> um, thank you for the follow, whoever that was. I did not look in time. I'm so sorry. Uh, who was it? It was Real Form in Red. Thank you. Hello. How's it going? Um, am I taking up now? I don't think so. Okay, that could be worse. Probably have, okay, cool. They don't even have a basic in their deck. Cool. Okay, they do have the basic, but they drew it. One good thing happened to me this game. Is this another solitude? Okay, that isn't great. But I can live with it. Because it does mean I'm going to get to trade. Yeah, perfect. Does mean I get to do this at least. Gonna have a really hard time ever getting the initiative back at this rate, but. And that is definitely gonna be a problem soon. Although I guess once I have Cauldron in play, that might might not really matter when they've already used two of their solitudes. Um God, what am I doing with this vial? So I think I It's just weird because I've always had like all of my mana slated for the turn potentially, which is why I keep not taking it up. But I think at this point we just accept the risk of drawing a three drop and tick up because we're going to get the most value out of it once it that's five. Immediately draw a recruiter. Come on. Okay. All right. Of course. Of course I immediately draw a recruiter. Of course, it's not the worst. Next turn, I will cast Recruiter and then Vile in a Solitude, but come on. I was keeping it around for a Recruiter for like two turns and just never showed up. So I assume they're going to forge onto their solitude here. No, they're scrying. Okay. I think that's the right choice, but... A lot of initiative players really do just love forging.
scryed one to the top, one to the bottom. Ancient tomb. Okay, okay. What else you got? The two two. They make themselves the monarch and then they kill. Okay. All right. You got it. Um, since I'm going to attack for the Monarch and the Initiative, um, I'm going to recruit her first um, so that I'm not shuffling after scrying. Either way, easy getting a Solitude. I'll take another recruiter for another solitude. Why not? Okay, they have conceded. Now we hopefully get to play a game that's a little bit less nonsense. But it's initiative, so I'm sure it'll still be nonsense. Yes, it was. A lot of them are. Um, but it, it's almost, it's less stressful for me now, now that I've just done it so much uh, like i don't know i've beaten enough turn one initiative creatures on the draw that it just it it starts to, i'm a i'm a little bit jaded i just i don't know i say it's a little slow but uh, i think a turn one mom is honestly one of the best things that we can have because you really just want to have a creature in play to take the initiative as soon as possible sorry child if it's too late i'm keeping
Yeah, I have the benefit of being like the only person who was still playing D&T through the entire initiative era. So like it, it feels very like, I don't know, like cocky of me to say this, but there's probably not someone who's better at this matchup from the D&T side than I am. I played it so much because I just didn't, I, I tried playing initiative. I just didn't really like it. And I play this game to have fun, not to win. So. And I won it. I mean, I, I had a really good win rate in the end. So, double spirit guide. Okay. Um. So. Red white initiative has on and off been a good choice. I think it, that, that's about as simple. That's the simplest way to put it. This specific build of it is pretty weird, but. It's been fine and good at various points. Oh, well, they had to use a Lotus Petal to cast that. Um, I'm just going to chill for like a turn or two. I would like to see if I draw a basic or something. Um, or, or find just like a worse card to pitch to the Solitude than either of these. Nice mountain. Oh, I love that I made, I waited so that they had to play that mountain and not get to name a creature type. That makes me so happy, actually. Um, okay, so I think at this point, we're gonna, just gonna go ahead. Well, we don't even really have anything to cast, I guess, is the. I think we can still wait. Yeah, never mind. I think I am now going to cast... So if, if they had a Fable, they can actually cast it off of this mana. So they don't have a Fable. Um, so I am going to cast this Thorn, at least just have a creature in play. Um, that way, if they next turn play Mana Source into Caves of Chaos Adventure, I can kill them both, take the initiative, and then the game ends. Yeah, I'm definitely wasting the plateau if I'm wasting anything. Okay, we got double mountains going on. Got double mountains going on, and they're not attacking. Okay. Just all lands. Oh my god. I'm not wasting Ancient Tomb because Plateau is their only source of colored mana. Um, yeah, we're still we're still chilling.
I'm not reading that deep into their choices, Fornia. I think there's I think there's some weird stuff going on here. <laughs> so I'm not thinking about that too hard. Um, okay, now I kind of wish I had... Tr well, I guess not. I, I don't really want to have traded. Um, okay, so now they are going to get the planes, I assume. Okay. So and they play the planes, and that's their last card. So I don't think we gain anything by solituding now. So I am going to untap first. Another wasteland is pretty nice, actually. Um, I guess the problem is we can't, we only have one white mana still. So I think the play is Solitude, the Caves of Chaos Adventure attack. Um, to induce this block is probably what we have to do. Um, um, yeah, I think I think we are probably pitching battle. I agree. Um, I also might honestly activate Lauren when that happens, when they, when they block, um, just because we gain literally so much value just from drawing a any card that we can cast, or, or a white mana. Okay. Four, eight, thirteen. I think we have like thirteen, seventeen, like twenty good draws in our deck, I think. Okay, our deck just didn't want us to get this one, I guess. Um, yeah, nothing to do. <laughs> yeah, like Swords, Recruiter, Solitude, Stoneforge. Uh, Swords, Sol Solitude, Stoneforge, Recruiter, Cauldra, Batterskull. Um, planes so it's like 25 right there <laughs> but instead we just drew like lands and double white spell what double white cards literally every turn <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
it is possible that maybe I was supposed to solitude the first Magus in response to the second one, just so I could get my fetches. Um, or blocking a Magus, yeah. I think those are those are the two possibilities. No black source, but this hand is otherwise pretty good. Um, but like, I th I think one of those two choices was correct. Wow, did that game have to go astoundingly poorly for me for those mistakes to matter? My opponent is playing a sixty-two card deck. So, let's see what happens. I think it's a brew. Oops, used to be on 61 and is now on. I think they've pretty much all gone down to 60 at this point. Right on time, Vile. Um, I'll play Caracas first, I think. I can deal with a Dothy Voidwalker. That's no problem. Um, really didn't want to draw another Bowmasters. Um, but I'll live with it. You know, that probably is the best reason to splash blue. So much easier. Yeah, yeah, waste me. You got it. Well, that's annoying. Um... No, I gotta... This Dahlia is getting pitched, that's for sure. Um... Yeah, I'll just, I'll just pass for now. Um, I have to live with the possibility that this Dothy Voidwalker gets my solitude back. That's probably better for me. <laughs> so, oh well. That is a Skyclave on the Voidwalker. Never mind, it's not position agent. It's not that. Of course it's not position agent. It's always an opposition agent. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Uh. 
sure. Uh, I kind of want that. I guess I'll keep it. Um, I have to chump here, though, which kind of sucks. Yeah, recruiter's a may, so I just declines to search. So it it stifles the trigger still, but they don't get anything from me. Recruiter and Stoneforge both work that way. Shadow Spear? Why didn't you use that? I would have been dead. Hello? Um, so I have to kill the Void Walker here, or I'm just dead. I can't, because of the... Never mind, because of the... I forgot the engineer was naming Orc, so I had I had no outs. I guess I needed to mill the Arid Mesa and get a Recruiter, so that would have... Okay, I needed to mill that Arid Mesa. That was the, that was the mistake. Um, I'm at least cutting... I think I'd probably bring in the cage for matchups like this. It like only is good against reanimate, but also their deck isn't that scary unless they cast reanimate. So, um, then I, I don't think they're a saga deck because they played wasteland and we didn't see a saga. Uh, or no, because we we saw no, that's a lie. We saw the. Shadow Spear, which is very heavily indicative of Saga. I take that back. Um, no, that's not how choosing to search works. Choosing choosing to search is how you resolve the recruiter trigger. If I choose to search, it's then I am I'm then my deck's in my hand, I'm looking through it. They have to cast it in response to the recruiter trigger, at which point I can then choose not to search. Um, yeah, so Shadow Spear, pretty heavy implication that they're a Saga deck, so I actually want the Lorenz. Um, maybe still want the Cage, but I might not be if I have to keep Lorenz in my deck. Um, what am I cutting? These Bowmasters are probably pretty bad, huh? They're pretty bad there. So I think I'm fine just shaving that one, and we'll call it. All right. Oh, I should have brought in the rip for the reanimate. I thought that I did, and just didn't realize I didn't drag it over. Hmm. My opponent boarded down to 60 cards worth noting um hmm. not sure about this hand but i also don't like mulliganing against decks with grief in it and aether vial is one of the best things that we can do on our turn one so i think i'm just going to keep it <laughs> yeah pa paper only plays Okay, let's get one of them planes. Cast this vial.
that. Okay. Uh, I guess I can cast anything I draw. It's one way to look at it. Oh boy. Sure did it. Okay. I really don't want that. I guess I should have done that in response to the Void Walker, but I was also kind of scared of Dark Ritual into another. Okay, we're alive. Um, I was a little bit afraid of Dark Ritual into another stupid. Um, uh, opposition agent. Yeah, I'm just killing this now. I win these. I win games like this just maximizing the number of turns I have because the average draw from me is going to be way better than the average draw from them as long as I stop drawing lands literally ever. So. The fact that they didn't wasteland me heavily implies that they have a um, an opposition agent right now. Deck, come on, give me a break. Why are you making me draw all lands against my mono thoughtsies opponent? Okay, now they do that. Uh, I guess I will try to shuffle now. Okay. Take up and get immediately punished. Yeah, sounds about right. This could be worse. I think I want to get a solitude with this anyway. Cool. I probably should have attacked first, actually, and see if I got them to cast the Bowmaster. Punished is one way to one way to say that. That's all wastelands, huh? That is really messed up, thankfully for me. What are you going to do? They can get a swords, I guess.
sure. That's fine. All right, now I can F6. I assume they're going to probably take Swords to Plowshares here. Hard to imagine what else they would pick. Uh, I don't know. Oh, right, they don't have to pick now, right? It's just... Oh, no, they do have to choose. It didn't look, doesn't look like they chose anything. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to recruit another Solitude. Solitude, nothing. Okay, they did Swords. There we go. All right, and this is what I mean by our top decks being way better than theirs. They are not a particularly good deck at beating a batter skull. There we go, okay. Um, I do want this rest in peace probably over another Bowmasters. Good night, Gabs. Thanks for hanging out. Kind of wastelandable hand, but also everything it does is good, so I'm going to keep it. My opponent also mulled to six. Do you have turn one thoughtsies again? You don't. Wow. Um, normally, I don't like casting turn one moms on the draw against Bowmaster decks, but notably, I have a second, so. What's my paper tournament schedule for the year? I don't really know yet. Uh, I know I'm playing a local 1K on uh, March 2nd, um, and that's about all that I know for sure right now. Uh, yes, we do have a side bet. So there's also, there's another, um, here's what's it, there is another turn, another one or two K that Sunday, the next day, and Katie is going to play at that. And we're going to see who does better. Yeah, yeah, playing good, good, good point. Playing the same list to be uh, completely clear should be a fun time. Um, we know that there is an SCG con, I believe, in Baltimore. Um, Um, yeah, yeah, right. SCG Philly is the weekend after that. Um, there's Baltimore SCG, I think, in like July that we'll be going to. Um, no, don't do that. That would be mean. Wait, what's two weeks after that? Uh, 
Okay, I was worried I was misremembering, but. No attacks, huh? I'll take it. Opposition agent, you got it. I decline. I already have a culture in my hand. Um, I think I actually keep, like keeping Wisp back as a blocker here now that I have a way to get culture into play. I'd like a land so I can call Drip plus Bowmasters next turn. That could be worse. So whether three, six, seven, eight, they can hit me for nine, I can hit them for eight. I have a solitude. Um, I guess I might probably attacking with Cauldra, keeping Wisp still back as the blocker. I think that's where my head is at right now. I will happily take three damage. A to no, don't make me sacrifice my cauldron token. Can I get another wisp? Another solitude. Okay. Um, uh, what am I doing here? I think I'm attacking with Wisp and then using Bowmasters to make blockers. Uh, hmm. I think that means I have to use one of these Solitudes now to kill this Voidwalker so that I at least get just don't want to give them the opportunity to um, evoke on the stack first, then exile this. It's only exiled, so they don't get any value out of it. The solitude dies safely. New Voidwalker's in play and also can't attack this turn. I'm pretty happy to bow masters here and just trade with the opposition agent. I'll make my recruiter top decks better. Also land top decks better. Um, that's a good one. Get that void walker out of there. Yeah, attack with all these. That trade's fine by me. That wasteland's bad. Torok. Okay, that's actually not that bad then. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we just waste their waste so that my Caracas can bounce this Torak forever, and it doesn't matter that we never get to cast our cards. Because they'll be dead to this Flicker Wisp next turn. Sick. All right. Phew. That was another kind of stressful one. Um, yeah, yeah, we will certainly be at EW whenever it is. Hopefully it's in Philly this year, so it'll be, like, super free for us to go. But if it's in Pittsburgh, we'll go. Seems a little weird. I'll keep it though. Oh no, I got GLHF. Okay, I am definitely thoughts using them on for, on turn one. Okay, it's this kind of GLHF. Got it. Um. Well, this chalice does kind of matter with these vials. Um, thankfully, I think I can afford to take it because their hands doesn't really do a whole lot else. Um, or at least it doesn't do anything quickly, which is, which is important. Um, Another possibility is we take the Caves of Chaos Adventure, and then we could potentially Skyclave the Chalice to turn on the Vials, but at that point, like, casting the Vials is barely any value anyway. Um, so I think we just take Chalice, double Vial next turn, and then we're in a good spot to outpace them in the following turns, yeah. Yeah, they cast the hearse, but I don't care about that like at all. That's a good one to draw. Um, so if they draw a Spirit Guide or a Chrome Mox, they could potentially cast something scary here. Oh, well, they can also just draw a Fable. That works, too. Um, so they can hit us for three if they want to. Um, so this, yeah, they'll hit us for three. In this case, I'm going to Skyclave the Fable, and then we'll hope that they don't draw the mana they need for the Caves of Chaos Adventure. Although, to a certain extent, that certainly is Hopium. I guess they're going to get it off of this goblin anyway, so not looking great. Oh, they didn't need it anyway. Oh, they, they also had the Shatter Skull, so they were... Yeah, they were always casting this Chaos of Chaos Adventure this turn. Okay. Yeah, you got me, you got me. Londa Dex really putting me through it tonight, and I'm drawing 
so badly. Oh my god. Alright. Um, well, crossing our fingers, I guess. We're at least going to get a surveil. But man, are we struggling right now. I think I have to save the Skyclave. It sucks because they have a Shatter Skull, so they're gonna kill it eventually anyway. But I think I need the Skyclave around so that we can potentially Yori on it next turn. Exile, another case of Chaos Venture, okay. Okay, block here. I go to two. And we pray. Yeah, I mean... I guess it doesn't really matter because we're they're gonna be able to attack us with at least a creature, but we did our best. Yeah, okay. I can I can just concede. There's no, especially with the shadow skull smashing. Yeah, there's just, there's just nothing we can do. Okay, Legions to Ashes, Lauren and Containment Priest are what I usually board in here, and I like just cutting Bowmasters because the less black mana we need, the better. Um, Thalia is not great, but it at least blocks okay. Might Reg is in the so showcase. Well, you're. I th I think you're welcome then. Would you would you have even played that deck if not for me? Ugh. <sighs> I love these cards, but this hand is so slow. It's at least completely impervious to Blood Moon and Chalice. This hand makes me angry. I'm going to keep it and die. I don't love that they kept seven, but we'll see. Okay, I can live with that. It's really tempting to get a surveil land here, but I think we just can't take the risk. 
How's it going? All right. That that was funny. All right, what is this? What? No, leave me alone. And they rolled six. Oh. They rolled six twice. I'm filing for comp on this one. What the actual fuck just happened? Yeah, fun. they weren't they aren't goblins. They were they're red stompy and they boarded into goblins. It didn't. I, I literally board the same, other than that I board in. I guess I would have boarded in Cabal Therapy. It's the only difference. But oh, and these Lorens wouldn't be in my deck. They would be Cabal Therapies, which actually would have been pretty good against this hand, huh? <sighs> I don't want to play anymore. Yeah, let's not play anymore. <sighs> That's about how I feel. I don't want to play anymore, Uncle Stu. Alright, here we go. This hand is suspiciously as wastelandable as that hand we had against Mono Black, but at least has a good curve. Wooded foothills, huh? That's a pretty fishy land. There's a decent chance I will play against goblins tomorrow at FNM, but we'll see. No one's gonna play that for sure. I think that that one's pretty unique. Is this? Is this lands? I'm not sure. I'm going to cast this Sash, though. It's not a good start from lands if it's lands. It could be, yeah, I was thinking it could be rhinos also. Is the other possibility. Keep the card on top with the hedge maze. Yep, I have a feeling we are getting Shardless Agent. Ed. Yep, okay. And lots of normal Rhinos cards in there. They milled over two forces, so hopefully they don't have one in their hand right now. Um. So we can, this actually is not that bad. Um, I'm gonna try using this solitude right now. Cool, we'll get rid of one of the rhinos and then the sash can already get to the point where it trades. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that because um, I don't want I want to get this to a 5-5, five five, or at least, um, so that I am 
eating rhino tokens without having to tap my mother of runes. What is this? Lorien revealed? Well, I got something for that. Well, that kind of works out, huh? Keep that on top, that's for sure. I'm going to keep the Caracas and the swords up. It, it's mostly for the Caracas in case they have, in case they play a Minskin Boo. Um, I'm, not, I'm not really excited about Wastelanding their Valk when they just th drew three cards. So, a suspended footfalls. That works for me. All right, they just scoop. I'll take it. Uh, Legions to Ashes, Cabal Therapy. This is a good Force of Despair matchup, actually. Um, we're bringing in a lot of these. I think all of these. Um, Skyclave is pretty bad. I might keep one. Probably going to cut it. Um, um, don't need Containment Priests. And the Bowmaster's <laughs> Bowmaster was very good there, is usually not very good. Um, so I, I usually cut it in this matchup. Um, and I think this works. Yeah, this works. We are maxing out on black cards. Or again, no, we cut the Bowmasters. We're not maxing out on black cards. Just kidding. I can roll with this. Turn one of Wasteland, huh? It's like a Lorian. Yeah, okay. This is another Scrubland Caracas Wasteland hand. Um, okay, cool. Uh, I can fetch a basic swamp with this and still Thoughtseize this turn. Please have a Footfalls in your hands. Oh my god, yeah. They have a force, annoyingly, but... Um, I'm happy to make them use a force on a surgical. <laughs> um, and their hand otherwise doesn't actually really do anything. Um, so yeah, we can... Surgical in their draw step. They just let me do it, huh? So what's their plan on winning the game? There's two Minsk and Boos, the two Endurances, and the Brazen Borrowers. And I guess casting, casting Guides. They have Magus of the Moon in their deck. Interesting. Um, well, the... Basically, the only way I'm concerned about them killing us is gone. So I think we're good for a bit. Um, yeah, so it's basically 2-2 two, two slash 3-1 beats other than the two Minskin boos is what I'm seeing. All right, and, and the Endurance. 
Oh boy. Uh, um, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, everything up to the Lorien. There we go. And they play the Trop. There we go. Um, tempting the Wasteland the Trop, but they have another Lorien, so not a whole lot of value in that. Huh. Okay. Sure. Does stop my wasteland this turn. Not the worst thing, but not that concerned about it either. Um, I guess it doesn't even stop my thoughts use. Yeah. Let's go. I think I just take the force because I I just want this battle of Biowater to resolve mostly is what I'm after. Um, yeah. Hey, Aquibian, how's it going? Uh, uh, so there's... Oh yeah, yeah, Adam already answered that question, but yeah, you cannot do that. Um, Wasteland me, okay, you got it. Force, Endurance. Okay, this is once again their hand. Um, and they still have the Lorien, so not much value in Wastelanding. Uh, Thalia here is fine, I guess. Doesn't really change much, but better in play than not. Uh, New Land has been quite nice. I'm a fan. I think I just want them to extend as far in, extend as far into this battle of ours. Oh my god. Well, okay, sure. Anyway, I would like them to g and wasteland stop. Oh god. Alright, now I'm going to waste them so that they can only cast one of these, and I hopefully have time to kill it. I've disliked this matchup a lot ever since Rhinos realized that they can play, play Wasteland. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I guess probably should do it on their upkeep, but I don't know. Doesn't matter that much. Oh, they drew a spirit guide. Gross. sure what our outs are now. I guess we can, this, this battle still saves us as long as we draw a white source. Nope. Never mind. Well, we still have a game three. Uh, 
thinking about these bowmasters with three um, borrowers in their deck. I might be overthinking it, but. Thalia is definitely like not that great and a lot worse on the draw. Um, yeah, I'll try this. Sand is pretty good. Triple Spirit Guide, no lands, footfalls. Okay. I'm not sure what to do about that. Um, pretty suspicious of a force. But playing around force involves taking 16 damage. <laughs> um, so I think we just have to make them have it. Yeah, force, force pitch, force. Okay. We're definitely taking at least eight, but hopefully we're not taking any after that. That's, that is the hope. That's a good one as well. Okay, I think we're going to be okay. That's what I was going to recruit for, but I guess now I get to make the decision later. Um, this keeps them off of land cycling. Um, Stoneforge for a batter skull. Pass the turn. Probably recruit for a wisp or something. Whew. Okay. Finally, something good happened to me. That was all. That was a league just full of get every every everything going wrong. So I'm glad we were at least able to salvage the three two. Um, the force of vigor or, for, or force of despair, as it turns out, hard to draw in an 80 card deck. So we still haven't seen it. I have no idea what it does. Haven't found any graph diggers cage matchups. This land. I think we already kind of knew. This land, it, every splash build should have one of these. 
uh, I am going to be ordering mine very soon. Um, and for those budget players who are struggling potentially to get all of the duels for playing splash builds, uh, this is basically minus one duel that you need. So there you go. Um, at FNM tomorrow, I'm going to be playing the green splash, so I'm going to only be playing two scrublands, I'm pretty sure, as long as I can get my hands on one of these before then. I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, Backstreet is, in fact, back. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That league was, was a whole lot of, a whole lot of nonsense, a lot of, a lot of flooding. So I'm not going to think about it too hard and just be glad that we, glad that we got out of it. Uh, so I dropped Teague from this list because the main strength of Teague is how amazing it is against the white beans decks with like leyline binding and terminus and all that um which have just not existed online basically at all um the only beans list i've really played regularly at all has been bug beans um and teague's like okay there but not nearly as good um and teague is good in a bunch of other matchups but none of them are particularly popular lately um so i was feeling like teague I, I think because of how popular the white beans lists are in the average paper tournament i would still play teague in paper i think he's just not doing very well online so cut him make them makes the mana a little bit better um basically the 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 savannah and one of the extra fetch lands became this surveil land and playing an igonjo missed this card haven't hasn't done anything yet but it's a nice card to have so um at my legacy fnm it's usually at least 16 ish um i think usually anywhere from like 15 to 20 people if i had to guess Um, before I moved back in, back in Rochester, they have Legacy on Tuesdays. That was pretty regularly getting like 20 to 24 people. I think there was one night many years ago, but like it's been, go they have had Legacy for a long time and definitely had like 30, 30 person nights before, which was pretty cool. Um, well... only 11 I could play more but I'm feeling pretty tired I think I'm just gonna call it um, sorry to say um, let me see if there is anybody out there streaming some legacy that we could raid And we could play art game. I think I'm not feeling it tonight, but maybe probably next time. Probably next time we'll we'll end with that. Um, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're just going to call it. Thank you, folks, as always, for hanging out. Really appreciate how much you like me playing this dumb deck. I know I love playing it. Um, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, etc. Um, my YouTube has a cool uh, in-depth match review of a match one of my friends, one of my very close friends, played against Bug Beans. Um, go check it out. It's the first time I did real video editing, so I hope that you're proud of me. Uh, I started with understanding of what a keyframe is and then learned everything else on top of that. So it's, uh, it is edited. <laughs> I can say that much, but certainly not professionally. Um, 
if it's your first time, I stream every Thursday and Sunday, starting at 9 p.m. Eastern, go until about midnight, usually the length of the league, sometimes a little earlier than, and a little earlier than that. But uh, thank you for stopping by. I hope you like it. I hope you come back. Um, and I think I'm going to... Oh, my wife is saying art game. Okay. We'll play. A, we'll play a bit. I. I don't. I really don't want to play too much. But I am the wife guy. I will listen to my wife. We're playing some art game. I have been bullied into it. I'm guessing that this is like a March of the Machine card or something like that. I don't know. Um. Oh, Vi knows it, huh? If you know it, tell me. This is we we play as a chat, so if you know it, uh, right? So if you haven't played our game with us before, this is any any game any card that has ever been printed. It's almost always going to use the most recent art of it, which is kind of annoying, but nothing I can do about that. Um, if you are joking. Well, if you are definitely joking or definitely serious, please make that clear in the message because when I'm reading it, I cannot tell if someone's joking or not. However, I do know that Serum Snare is a card that is standard legal, which, yeah, cool. Thank you, bye. Okay, it was Frexy All Will Be One, not March of the Machines. I was so wrong. I think we've gotten this card on art game before, but I don't remember what it was. I think I want to say that we guessed greed, but it wasn't greed. Um, I think I, I want to say it was a card that kind of had like a nonsensical name that someone's gonna know, but we're never. If, if someone knows it, tell me. But otherwise, our guess is not gonna get there. Um, that's my vague memory of this card. Purse cutter. Yeah, that works for me. I'll give 10 seconds. I think if someone knew it, they would have said it by now. So we'll keep it. We'll keep it snappy. <laughs> oh, there it was. All right, there we go. Yeah, Krovik and Scoundrel. It's a time spiral card. Yeah, or cold, right, cold snap. There we go. Oh, uh, scale of Chiss Goria, right? Gora, Goria? Yeah, yeah, cool. We're on the same page. So this is the toughness one, right? Yeah, cool. Uh, this is a card from Kaldheim. Or not Kaldheim, Kaladesh. Uh, but that's all I got. Energy Counter Mantis. I like that. Was Triskelion reprinted in that? I believe it. This would be pretty sick as like a masterpiece Triskelion, but I know that doesn't exist. I'll go with that unless someone has something better. I'll give it 10 seconds. It's not Trisk, we'll go with Energy Counter Mantis, and we'll see if Mantis is close. Mindless Automaton. Okay. Uh, this is Captain Beckett Brass, right? To get that name right, I know I. No, Lannery Storm. There you go. I had the wrong captain. It is Lannery Storm. Yeah, there we go. Thank you for saving me. Yeah, okay. Uh... I 
don't know. I would probably guess like a lens array, but I, I don't know. That's just going off. It sounds kind of a dumb name. I'm just guessing. I'll give it 10 seconds. Netherese Puzzle Ward. Of course it's a Forgotten Realms Commander card. I am not reading it. I know this one. This one's Memory's Journey. All right, who wants to test their knowledge of Lorwyn cards? Those are, ooh, those are both good. Let me know which one you think it, which one you are more confident in. Those are both definitely real cards. But I can't put arts either of the names. Not crush. Okay. Hey Jarvis, what's up? Oh, Jarvis is on crush underfoot. I think we're putting it in then. Someone's gonna know. No, it's Hurly Burly. Okay, yeah, all right. All right, what do we got here? Uh. Yeah, that's never listening to Jarvis ever again. Uh, this doesn't look like a Lorwyn tree folk, but it also doesn't look like a Lord of the Rings Ent, really. I think the, I think the one on the left did not have a great day. They're really try they're really going through it. We got we got any guesses on this one? I'm I am I don't have the first clue here. That's you know, we should we should shut down the stream just to start research into that exact question. Quick be okay. It, it it is it is Lord of the Rings. Okay. Oh, which rat is this? It's relatively recent rat. I want to say it's like a like a Ravnica Allegiance rat. Could be wrong about that. I'm pretty sure I have held this card in my hand. Like one of the one ones that makes your opponent discard a card rat, that kind of thing. Ruin rat. Thank you. There we go. Uh, this is 
the Zendikar Rising Gruel legendary creature. But like every legendary creature in that set had a stupid name, so I don't. I'm not gonna be able to think of what what it is. A Z and a Groth. That sounds right. Phylath. That's it. Yep. All right, who knows there? Invasion block Phyrexian golems. I, you know, I trust. I should have taken a second. Uh, it is the black one, apparently. Uh, this is Phyrexian processor, right? Can someone confirm this with me? Okay, cool. Fraxing processor. It's pretty sure that's what it was, but I didn't want to be embarrassed. I don't have the first clue what this is. This looks too new. White O ring in circle of confinement. I, de I I was definitely feeling unholy strength over whatever the hell this is. Uh okay, sure. Ooh, okay. We got this is definitely original Innistrad block. I can I see this art, but I can't think of the card that it's on. I'm gonna need help here. More linden, yep, that's it. That's definite that's definitely it, yep. Is it? No, it's, yeah, Avicen restored. There we go. Uh, this is um, it's the Knight Tribal card from Eldraine. Um, not Novice Knight. Um, worthy Knight. Thank you. That's when it gets like, yeah, when you recast them. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. This looks like a card that goes straight into a uh, Soraya the Falconer EDH deck, but I don't know what it's called. <laughs> we got two big birds, but we have one little bird. Ooh. Kildorn Fal Falcon makes sense for the time and the art. It's drawn by Mark Poole, yeah. Oh, Sky Captain. It's the dude and not the bird? Are you kidding me? It does have banding, though. I can't believe it's the dude. The dude's so, so tiny and dumb. <sighs> This art looks kind of familiar, but again, I'm not gonna put it on a card. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that's a that's a very good point. Oh, is this the card that gives you an extra vote or something? No, that's card's not. That doesn't help me. Either way, it doesn't give me a name, but I I think you are right about that, that it is in Conspiracy. Bragos representative there. Okay. That seems too specific. Okay. Yep. Yep. You get an additional vote. Yep. There you go. Good call. Uh, I was... Is... is I was gonna say ghost ship, so I'll take whatever you got. The illusion with a blue, blue, blue ability. That sounds like a card they would have printed. I, yeah, I don't think it's ghost ship, but it's what I was gonna put if someone didn't say anything. It's a lot of ghost ships. Seriously, ghost ship? All right. Yeah, okay. It's ghost ship. Masters 25 art, huh? Yeah, this is... See, this is the ghost ship art I know. Yeah, it is, in fact, a reprint. I... I really want to make an art game that just always uses the first printing of the card. Unfortunately, it's not open source, so I would have to build it from scratch, <laughs> but I really want to. I do not know what this card is at all. Not a single clue. A pauper card. The only cards I can think of, it's not Witches, it's not Reckoner, or uh, Reckoners, whatever, the other, the, the one of like seven different Deadly Dispute effects in that format. Um... Is it? An... It's not. It's not the new Quambage Witches art I'm aware of, because it the the one that I'm thinking of is like mirrored. It's like one like, it looks kind of like a like a, like a blank ling almost. It's like mirrored like that. Yeah, that one that, that the one I'm thinking of is from Commander Commander Legends, I think. So, it's possible this could be that, but it's not I had not seen this, I don't think. Um And I think if it was in that set, I would have noticed because we, we were waiting for a foil printing of that card for so long to put into the popper cube. Woman with a... <laughs> you know what? This is... All right. We'll give this a shot. Because at least it is a card that exists. But I think we're otherwise kind of stumped. So, Master of Dark Rights. Yeah. We weren't close 
on any metric other than that we were thinking about black cards. <laughs> This is smothering. Oh, that's what you were saying, Jason. Yeah, okay. Smothering abomination. We got that one. Oh, this is the uh, the white elephant. It's from it's in the, the like M fourteen cycle or whatever, where it's the the creatures that are better with a with land types in play. Prized elephant. Thank you. Hmm. Kind of hard to tell what's going on in this art. I would definitely believe in Estrad, but... I think this is Shacklegeist. Yeah. If it's Shacklegeist, it is definitely not the art I know of for that card, so. Tattered Haunter, huh? an enchantment, but you don't remember why, huh? So, you're you're confident in Tattered Haunter? I'll put it in. Okay. You are a hundred percent. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Eldritch Moon. Got it. What is this? It looks sort of like wing shards, but it's not. Oh, is this? Oh, this is... Why is it not what the art I'm thinking of for Commander Isha? Oh no, I'm thinking of thinking of a different card. I'll give ten seconds, but I I would believe that this is Commander Isha. Not Commander Isha. Got it. Kirtar. Okay, okay. Dynasty Warriors Angry Birds. I like that. Is it just, just Kirtar? Lieutenant. There we go. Thank you. interesting uh this looks familiar vector asp that sounds about right to me yeah yep cool i don't know about this one at all can't even place what set this is from, really.
I think you're right about the block. This art is so weird, though. I really... I think you might be right about it being an original Zendikar, but I still have no idea what the card name is. I think we're kind of feeling pretty stuck, so give it 10 seconds. If I don't see any name in the chat, I'm going to put in board elementalist, and we'll see what it is. There we go. Deliberate. It is... Oh, it's the newest Zendikar. Okay. It's just two mana instant speed preordained. Got it. Uh, this is from Ikoria. I think it might be from one of the dumb Ikoria commander decks. I don't know why I know that, though. I really like it though. Whatever it is. <laughs> Shrimp says bugs. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> I think it might be molting something. I that might not be that might be for real, but skittering cicada. Commander Masters. Oh, it's this dumb thing. Got it. I've definitely seen this art before. I think it's some... I'm pretty sure this is a Mirrodin creature. Original Mirrodin. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, thank you. Uh, this is Arthas the Lich King. Um, I don't. I have no idea what this is. That's as good a card as I can name. So. I think I'm actually, I can, yeah, okay, no, yep, yeah, that's, that's right. I started, for some reason, I started seeing that art in my head, even though I don't know why. I, like, barely played Modern Horizons 2. Uh, okay, we got Kaya Foglio art. But I do not know what card is this. Uh, no, Cultivate is not this old. I think Cultivate's first printing was M10, maybe? Could be wrong about that, but that's at least the earliest printing I'm aware of. M10, M11, one of those. I think it was actually M11 because M10 had rampant growth. If I'm remembering that right. Anyway, um, yeah, I have n I have no clue. Um, all right, ten ten seconds. M10 did have primeval titan. No, no, M it was M11. M11 and M12 had the titans. Renewal. Okay. Looks like a new land. 
Yeah, yeah, homelands. No, no shot at all. Uh, I'm guessing it's a lands. I have no idea even what cycle it's from. So wait, wait. This isn't the new blue-white surveil land, is it? A filter land from a set in the last five years, okay. I need a name. I need a name. I've got 15 seconds to give me a name or I'm putting in this probably wrong answer. Hall of the Citadel. It is Lord of the Rings. You were right. It's this one. Okay. Oh, hey, I know this one. It's from Theros. But I don't know what other than that it promises an AR air yeah yeah it's definitely new th like the theros beyond death style i but i can't identify what it is other than that I got nothing. I'm going with, yeah, I also think it's an Eidolon. I'm going with Eidolon of Colors. You got 10 seconds to tell me a different card name. Uh, I know that that's a card that exists, but I don't know what it's called. Eidolon of Philosophy. The, yep, it is It is that one. You got that right. Or I'll probably do like five fish more, and then it's going to be probably time to, uh, time to get out of here. <laughs> Philosophy of Colors is a joke. Well, would have gotten closer. Probably not close enough to make them, to make it think that we got it right, but... Uh... I got nothing, got no clue on this one. Again, I can't really even place the set. Miri's Cannon, I like that. That's, that's, Definitely what we're going with if I don't have a name in, I'll give 15 seconds. Oh, Drewski Brew, thank you so much for the follow. Wow, okay, I'm copy pasting that. There we go. We got it. Well, damn. Uh, this is Dragon's Maze, white, instant or sorcery. It's like sacrifice a multicolored something. It's bad. Renounce the guild pact. Thank you. Let me see how close 
Or renounce the guilds. Okay. Yep, got it. I'm counting that. I'm counting we have that one. I know this one. This is Ambuscade. This is a yeah, Hour of Devastation fight spell. Or good fight. The only on, uh, one way fight. Uh, sure, I believe you with Sarkin, Sarkin's Fury. No, Sarkin's Catharsis. A very normal, very normal card name. Is this Growth Chamber? Is it a, no, is this? Yeah, I think it's something with Graft. It's not, it's not the original Graft Utility land, right? Like Novagen or something? Aboleth? I know I have a person I would call if I needed to get the name of a Simic card from the original Ravnica set, but unfortunately, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna copy this image. I'm gonna, all right, you have 15 seconds to give me a card name while I, while I bother a friend. Oh, is it comic? Oh, you know, you're right. I see this now. That doesn't help me, but yeah, I think you, I think you might be right about that. All right, we're skipping Genju of the Falls. Yeah, it's a three two. The sa the the oversaturation in M twenty five actually kind of made this harder. Uh oh, what this is? What is this? This looks familiar. Kev Walker. We all getting sleepy? I know I am. All right, someone at least give me a joke name and we can go on to what will probably be the last one of the night. Order. Ogre Jim, got it. No, no shot. I don't think I have seen Forezian in a magic card name before now. That's a first. Uh, I don't know what this is either, unfortunately. It's probably a phoenix of some sort. But that's about all I got. Anyone got something better than that? Red black from DW. Mm. 
Excuse me. All right, 10 seconds. I gotta say, we did really well tonight. This was a very good hit rate. Cyrex. Nice. There we go. It's from New Capenna. New Capenna Commander, specifically. All right. We had a really good hit rate on our art game that time, not going to lie. But we are done. I'm sleepy. Thank you again, everybody, for hanging out. Thank you for spending spending your evening with me. Uh, you can do it again on Sunday, also starting at 9. Until then, hope you'll have a good night, good end of your week, and yeah, have fun thinking about what this card is, but I'm not going to guess it. I'm going to bed. Thank you. Have a good night.